Hey, how's it going? And um, welcome back. So, we're continuing with the main quest line. Now, after we rescued Esbern from the Rat Run, we brought him back to meet with Delphine at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. Esbern has told us we must go to Alduin's Wall, which is in Carspire Cave, located in Skyhaven Temple. Uh, there's a cave and a camp, and it's located east of Markarth in the Reach, and is nestled deep within Carth River Valley overlooked by Red Eagle's throne on the Sundered Towers. So you've got the option to travel with Delphine and Esbern or meet them at Caspar and I personally decide to meet them uh, there as I want to do some other stuff first but it's up to you. Now when arriving in Caspar or meeting up at the entrance to Caspar camp you will encounter a number of leveled Forsworn and a Hargraven. You can sneak past them and just take out the few Forsworn in Caspar cave but I would strongly recommend that you take the opportunity to attack the camp. Now this is a particularly strong force one camp and this is the only time we'd have two essential NPCs to help you out as in Delphine and Esbern. I would also recommend that you bring a follower with you and any action action you can get your hands on. I especially recommend this if you're at a low level or you're a bit weak at this moment as you can let those guys do the fighting while you stay out the firing line and snipe people and pop off the old action mag. Now there's quite a lot of decent loot to be had including giant's toes, a boss chest and a block skill book. Now I won't show too much of the fighting here as it was total chaos with uh, Neve, Delphine, Esbern, Janessa, three storm matronax and a fray matronax. It was absolute chaos. All I will say is that despite the force one being tough or buggered it didn't take too long to clear out the camp. Anyway, let's crack on. So here we are outside the cave itself and let's do this thing. Now let's get ready to rock and roll so there we go in. Uh, there's still a few, a fair few force worn about. Let's keep moving. And as I usually say, and you're probably sick of me actually saying it, um, I'm rushing through these to keep the video short, but you do all these uh, in the way that suits uh, your build and level. Okay. Like I said, I'm doing this. I, I don't normally play this way for per, when I'm playing for myself. But it is damn effective, I've got to say. Anyways, there's a fair bit to be uh, looted around here. My no looting policy didn't really last that long. I can't help myself. Always get lovely ingredients when the force one around. Rock warper, eh? but yum yum yum. Bright heart, lovely. Oh, glass dagger. Nom nom. Okay. Onwards and uh sideways okay I've tried all sorts of ways of getting in here without um, uh, solving the uh, puzzle but it's very simple just hit the uh, the dragonborn symbol there you go three of those there you go don't bother waiting for Esben you'll be forever okay Run in. Okay, now if you run onto these, um, you'll set off the booby trap. Now I've got Lightfoot perk, so it doesn't set it off. I show you here. Yeah. So that actually stops me from setting these traps off. However, guaranteed Janissa will set them off. So what you gotta do, what you do is just follow the Dragonborn symbols all the way around. Okay. Just follow them all the way around here. <laughs> That's <laughs> she's a c 
peacock. She really is. So, yeah, make that a, a reminder. Uh, get your follower to stay until you've actually done this because it can really hurt them and even kill them. There you go, so that's disabled it. And Janice has just about survived, I think. But she doesn't deserve to. Okay, just run up across this little bridge. Yeah, Skyhaven Temple. A nice little chest here. Nom nom. And reasonable loot there. Okay, quickly go and talk to him. Because otherwise he takes forever. Can only be opened with the right kind of blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. That's all. Okay, run over here. Activate this. If you follow the dialogue, it just takes hours, so just just do it this way. Okay. Job done. Temple opened. Okay, just run up ahead. Go into the temple. Now, I'd strongly recommend uh, you just hook a left straight in here and you pick up a skill book. Nom nom. I am Mace and Dragonborn. Or Dragon Bane. Dragonborn. <laughs> Dragon Bane. And you get a complete set of Blades armor. Now, I'll do like a little mini video on that and my unique uh, items uh, playlist. So I won't bother going into that now. And then you go up to Alduin's Wall. Now this is where Esbon goes through a whole load of um, Elder Scrolls lore here. Now some of it you have to go through to get to the next stage. Uh, I won't do all of it because lots of questions you can ask, etc, etc. But uh, I'll do through the go through the bare minimum. But I suggest you, you guys uh, go through it because you do get a whole load of uh, uh, lore. Okay, the important bit here is when Esburn discovers that a shout was used um, and he and Delphine start to interact. Once they've interacted, then you interact with Delphine. Okay, that's a bit of the dialogue you need to go through. Then the Grey Beers might know. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Grey Beers are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the civil war or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? The Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the grey beards up on their mountain. Now I'll better go see what Angier knows. They've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see Delphin doesn't like the uh, the grey beers, but uh, they have a conflict of interest. And it's a choice that you're gonna to have to face yourself later on in the quest line. So okay, that's completed. Um, so all you do now is go back to see the grey beards. So let's go and have a little chat with Arngear. 
I mean, to be honest with you, the, the Blazer quest line, I think, is one of the weakest quest lines in uh, the game, but there's a whole load of stuff you have to get through to uh, get to the meat of, of the main quest line, so you've got to do it. Okay, job done. So we've discovered Skyhaven Temple, and we've got ourselves some nice new shiny armour, so it's off to see on gear at High Hrothgar for a bit of a chat and a nice cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button, after you subscribe, obviously. Later!